in studio with us, it's... Uh, Good morning. Miss Amy from Burger Senior Service. You know, once again, the best show happened during the break. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's up, well, Amy? I'm, I'm going to put in a shameless plug. Okay. You're our um, second Amy today, by the way. Oh, cool. Yeah, we let off with an Amy. That's awesome. Great name. Um, my dad just released a book uh, oh, that cool. came out the end of July, so shameless plug. Oh, what's it called? Uh, it, called? It's called uh, Murder Always Gets It Right. It's set in the 1930s and um, in Winchester, Virginia. And uh, it's on Amazon. What's his name? So uh, Jeff McDaniel. Is this his first book? It, this is his first book. And his second book is scheduled to be released before the end of the year. Oh, he's so, churning uh, them out. He's he's cranking them out. Oh, good for him. Yeah. yeah. And the two main characters are, are great main characters. They're my daughters. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess with not having to take time to cut down a Christmas tree or anything, yeah. he had, oh, he had time to uh, he had time true. to write. Yeah, it's true. So are, your, true. are your daughters? He's 600 miles away, or he would have helped me with the Christmas tree. Uh, fair enough. No lie. Are your daughters the murderers? I can't tell you that. Uh-oh. Oh, are they suspected to be the murderers? I can't tell you that. You can't tell well, you, you, you have to plug the, the book. book. You've got to plug the book. No, you got to <laughs> plug the book. you got to say what the book is kind of about. Um, it, it is a, a, a murder mystery. Um and he took uh, inspiration from characters throughout our family. So okay. my grandfather is um, is is one of the the characters, and of course my. Is daughters. your father still welcome at Thanksgiving dinner? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. All right. Always. So. Even if you wrote a bad book, okay. which this is a great book, but even if you wrote a bad book, you'd always be welcome. But it's about murder. So let me ask the professional writer in the room: Why is murder so interesting to readers? It's always been Shakespeare. You know, it goes back forever. It's Cain and Abel. It's murder is interesting. Yeah. Why? I, I don't. Know, it's the ultimate crime. I, I think it's what everybody fears. It's it, you know, death is where we're all going so, sooner or later, and to get there at the hand of someone else is is fearful. And to be able to either solve it, commit it, get away with it, plan it, you know, whatever side of the murder that that you're you're writing about it's just engaging for people I don't so know why having written so many books like that it would probably be easier for you to plan something and get away with it probably is there anything is there anything unsolved no. in the area we should know about where you know we may want to ask john where were you yeah. <laughs> or amy's Which dad are, yeah. oh he's he's out, out just outside of nashville so yeah. yeah if it would have been local probably not so much but Berkeley Senior Services. Yes. In, uh, by the way, you can eat lunch there today. You can eat lunch there today. And, and anybody I, can eat lunch there. You don't have to be a senior. Correct. Anyone can eat lunch there. If you're not a senior, it is seven twenty-five. dollars uh, For seniors, it is a suggested donation. So whatever um, seniors feel that inclined to give, if anything. You know my next question, don't you? I do. And it is uh, today we will be having mac and cheese, turnip greens with vinegar, carrots, and mixed fruit. Do you have do you have lunch there every day during the week? We do. That Monday people can come Friday. and eat. Mm -hmm. I gotta come down and have lunch there. You do. I really you do. do. You do. It's um, it, it it's lunch kind of brings everybody together, and um, you know that's one of our main programs is our nutrition program because so many of our seniors are uh, don't receive the the proper nutrition. Well, and the meal you just uh, mentioned sounded very healthy. It is. Um, we try to make a variety because we want people to, to continue to come. Some people are not a, a collard green kind of person, but um, that, tomorrow that, that is a Caesar healthy, salad. So. Heart healthy mac and cheese. That's uh, well, you know, you gotta you gotta live a gotta little. Mix it up it's, a little. Uh, it's you keto. Live on the edge a little. It's keto mac and cheese. Is, is it the mac and cheese with the baked crust on the top? It is. Oh, oh, it is. oh, oh I wish I was is. in town it's today at lunch. Homemade. Oh. Um, it, we try really, really hard. The majority of our food is prepared from scratch. Um, we do little to no processed food at all. Who's the chef today? Uh, today we have, um, it is Kim. Uh, she is our newest uh, member of the nutrition team. And we also have a young lady by the name of Renata who has joined us. And um, one of our drivers, um, our nutrition drivers, has decided to move into the kitchen. So he is also working in the kitchen, and his name is Terry. So is it chefing by, con by community now, or are you still looking for an, a person to hire, or what? We're kind of living in the transition right now. Um, not real sure which direction we're, we're going to go. We're just kind of going day by day and, and seeing how it works. 
Okay. So. And are you hiring for any positions at the moment? We are. Um, we are in desperate need of home health aides. Um, we need people to go into seniors' homes and make sure that they are getting the personal care and the environmental care that they need. And that is something that, that's a shortage across our entire state. So um, we, we really need home health aides. We offer a flexible schedule. It's part-time. Um, stay-at-home moms, it's perfect for the stay-at-home mom. Um, we'll work within whatever hours possible. Do you have to be trained specifically to be a home health aide? We do all the training for you. So uh, no experience needed, just have to have a heart for people. Is there a certification that they get? Um, it, it, we do, we have specific training through the state. Um, CNAs, if, if they are a, a certified nursing assistant, their pay is a little more. Um, so we do recognize the CNA portion of it. What is environmental care? Uh, environmental care is that that's not skilled. So it would be um, light housekeeping, um, the prepping of meals, bathing, dressing, grooming, uh, anything that doesn't require necessarily that would be medically. Those all sound like skills to me because if you don't have they're, the, they're that, very, that close, very, yeah. And the, the state labels it that term, skilled versus non-skilled. Right, of course. Um, you know, we're not changing dressings. We're not administering insulin. We're not right. um, um, giving meds or things like that. We're taking care of the day-to-day -day necessities, things that you, you have to have to be able to survive. Taking them out on errands? Yes. We okay. take um, medical appointments, errands. Um, sometimes just we have one uh, one participant that likes to go to the park. So once a week she gets her outing at the park if, if it's nice and, and walks with her home health aide. And you really become part of their family because a lot of these seniors, they have absolutely no one else. Do you supply the vehicle or do I supply my own vehicle? You supply your own vehicle, but we reimburse you for any mileage that you have. Do I set my own schedule? Um, we do work with, with our, our staff with the setting the schedule, yes. And we can be very flexible because um, the way it works is a nurse um, will make an assessment and then a plan of care is written. And during that time of writing of the plan of care, it's based on when the home health aid is available. So we, we really try to work uh, hand in hand with the staff to make it a very flexible schedule for them. And how many of these folks do you need? As many as we can get. Nice. We can never have too many. We have a waiting list of about 75 people for one of our programs. Wow. So, um, And how many people might one aid see in a regular week? Um, we typically try to keep one single aid with the same participant just because a lot of these, these participants may have a, a form of dementia. You know, you're giving somebody a bath. You want somebody that, that you know and that you trust to see you in your most vulnerable state. So mm -hmm. um, we try to keep the same aides with the same um, the same seniors. Gotcha. It really is. I mean, we, we deal with thousands of seniors. We have uh, we have a lot of seniors that we deal with, and we see so many sad situations where they don't have families, where we meet with their health aides a lot, and we see them with their health aides, and they really do. They become they become like their adopted grandkids. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's phenomenal. I mean, the programs you guys run. I mean, they're what what I like to say is we we see a lot of seniors, especially lower income seniors. Yes where we get the feeling that they're just basically waiting to die. And that's sad. And, and when you can give them some fun, and we, we do a lot of fun things at, at senior housing and stuff. We, we, put on, we put on tons of events and it's, it's just great when you can see them smile and you can see them, you can see them feel what they should feel, which is, which is valued and listened to and enjoyed. It's, it's um, I mean, I, it, doing what I do for a living, I, I am so thankful that, that I get to help seniors because they, they, they're the best. They, they, they truly are. They are. Uh, some of the stories that, you know, that we hear day in and day out, and, and sadly, there's many times we walk into a home and a senior has fallen over the weekend, and we find them Monday morning. And, you know, it, it's they've laid on the floor all weekend. And, you know, that's why our services are so vital and, and services like you provide. I mean, it, it's keeping, as long as we can keep our seniors moving and active, the less chance they have of taking a fall or the less chance they have of not enjoying life and giving up on things. Oh, and it's, it's just, I mean, the, the sadness and especially the, the low income seniors who, who need all of our help in society the most. Absolutely. A, a, couple, a couple of things, one very practical. You're an insurance guy. If, if somebody in a program like this, if, if I take 
I'm getting paid to be at somebody's house and I take them in my car to go on an errand, what does that do in my car insurance? <laughs> Very practical side. Do you know? Is, is that, is that I, I usually? Deal with, I deal with the health insurance side. Okay. We, we do Medicare and health insurance. But I would think I would think there would have to be some sort of a contract with senior services where their insurance or would should be. Should I have asked you that Their question. insurance would okay. be picking yeah. it up. Yes, I mean, yes. And as long as they're on the clock, our insurance, we, um, we're very thorough in making sure the valid, uh, driver's license is valid of all of our staff and they have a current and up-to-date insurance on their car. Um, but our insurance does cover okay. any type of gaps or any type of, yeah, we have, we have very good insurance for that. So That's we, important. And the very other important. thing, I think it was with you that we discussed this whole business of falling and spending the weekend on the floor and all that. Wasn't there a program where you're going to be issuing the, I've fallen, I can't get up emergency yes. things. Yes. And those are available for anyone that is Medicaid eligible. But we have so many seniors that um, are disqualified for Medicaid, for Medicaid because of their assets. So they're on another one of our programs, and unfortunately, oh, Medicaid, they're not, not Medicare. Correct, oh, Medicaid. Medicaid. Yes. Um, so unfortunately, that program is not offering that service yet. But it is it is a vital service. And the great thing about those is not only does the the, the person who's monitoring, which we use ADT not only are they notified we're also notified so if our senior takes a fall they hit the button our case manager is notified at the exact same time that so That's we can great. follow up we can um, there's been many of times we've made trips to the the emergency room after hours just to make sure the senior is um, you know is How okay much a service and, like that cost um, well, it is covered under their Medicaid benefits, so it's of no cost well, for, to them. For a Medicare, somebody else. Who, somebody who's not know. low income. Yeah, yeah. Do that, you know? that I, I'm not really sure I, because. Because i got to tell you, well, that just seems like whatever it is, it seems like it's worth well, it. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's better it, than cable. It's 15, 20 bucks a month yeah. for the monitoring and yeah. the device. But, I mean, the, the main thing is it's just really important to have because a lot of seniors needlessly get into distress and, and die much, much earlier than they should because they can't get access mm -hmm. to it. I mean, I always tell my clients, if you don't have something like that, keep your cell phone in your pocket all the time. Don't go, don't go take a shower. Don't go walk around the house and leave your cell phone on the other side because if you have your cell phone, chances are, as long as you're not knocked out, you can get to somebody. Yeah. Amy Orndoff, our guest here from Berkeley Senior Services. Amy, before we run out of time, I know there's a few things that you need to get to. There is. Um, we are um, very excited uh, to have our very first um, Senior Heroes Dinner. This is something we are going to do each year uh, where we recognize we have so much community support and so many people that back our seniors and that help us with our programs. So this year for our, our very first um, dinner, we are going to be honoring the WISH Committee um, that's the Women Investing in Shepherd. We received a grant from them, a three-year grant uh, that allows us to provide additional services for respite or relief for caregivers. So this dinner will be on September the 19th at 6 o'clock at the Senior Center. Uh, it will be catered by Crosswinds Cafe. So it'll be a, a, a really great meal. Um, yeah, so we're, we're really excited just to really kind of recognize and honor those that have supported us and helped our seniors. Very nice. What inspired this? Um, we've been kind of toying with the idea for a few years just to, to come up with, with different fundraisers. And so many times, you know, we kind of look at ourselves with our handout, you know, how can you help us? What can you do for us? And this is just kind of our way to thank those that, that have been so incredibly supportive. And it is a fundraiser. So um, anyone in the nonprofit sector knows how important <laughs> fundraisers are for us so how, how much are the tickets and how would uh somebody do it and how are you looking for sponsors also what just fill us in great um so the tickets are 65 dollars a piece they are available on our website or you can if you want to come see the senior center uh, we do have some on site at the senior center uh, we do have some sponsorship packages available that are also on our website. Um, we have various levels. Uh, do want to thank our platinum sponsor, um, which is CNB Bank. Um, and then we have a gold level, silver, and then friends of seniors. And all of the, the gold and silver packages do come with tickets to the event. Do you sell uh, tables? Can you buy? We a, can work something out. Work, yeah, yeah, we'll work something out. We, I think we, we can do uh, that. I, we, I want, I want a table. Okay. I, want, I want to do something. Oh, everybody heard that on air, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm in. No, cool. I'm in. Definitely, definitely. 
yeah, we'll, we'll work that out. You know, 300 people sit at a table. Right? That's right. It's, That's right. It's a big table. It's a big table. <laughs> it's a big table. We're going to have to pay that in installments. So. Uh, what else is on your list, Dave? Um, I just want to remind everyone, come check us out. Um, we are we are always active. We're always doing something. We, we just brought back our potlucks, so we'll be doing those every month in the evenings. Um, on Thursday of this week, we are taking a group of seniors. Uh, I believe there's about 20 or 25 seniors to watch Musselman volleyball. Oh, they're, um, they're very good. That's they were, the best of the best. Yeah, they, they came a few weeks ago. So our seniors have been practicing and gave them a run for their money in their chair volleyball. So we're going to take them uh, to, a, to a game this Thursday. And that's always such a fun time. We started doing that last year. And, you know, it's just a, the red carpet's rolled out for our seniors at Musselman. It's amazing. That's and great. Yeah, they had, they, we have our own little cheering section, and the girls come over and fist bump all the seniors as they're announced. So it's a, a fun time. So we're working on um, trying to branch out of the senior center a little bit. We have so many activities and so many things that we do there. But, you know, there's so much to do within the community. Um, we're planning a trip to see Daniel um, for Sight and Sound. So we're, we're planning a bus trip. Um, that will be in November. Um, the so place is very cool. It is. It is awesome. It is very cool. It is so yeah. awesome. So, um, so many of our seniors would love to go, but they can't get to Lancaster. So we figured we would help them out with that. And you've got to, when you go there, you've got to take them to the Shady Maple Smorgasbord. That's where we're going for lunch or for that, dinner. It yeah. is the largest. Yeah. It's the largest smorgasbord in Lancaster yeah. County, is that the Pennsylvania, yeah. which doesn't mean much except there are so many of them. It's literally the length of a football field. Oh, really? Oh, I've never it, been no, there. No, it's unbelievable. They're going to walk in and they're going to be in awe. Yeah, they're going to be like lunch where. Yeah. What, a senior oh, center when, lunch? They, when they walk in there it's it's seriously it's un, i used to, i took my kids there a few times when they were little and it's it's amazing yeah. i've been that my, my son went to college at millersville oh okay there, great so yeah lancaster's next door basically and we did a lot of stuff around lancaster and they have a great theater hall there too by the way if you're going to see live shows and and what have you but i have not been to the What's it called? The there? Shady Maple Smorgasbord. It's a hundred yard buffet. It's um, no, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's it's like a football field long. I mean, I, I may be exaggerating, but it is it is what it's, it's Canadian football field or American football? Uh, Can, no, American. The Canadian's one hundred and twenty yards. The three American's downs only together. 100. Yeah. yeah, but no, it's um, it's it's one of the uh, twelve or thirteen wonders of the world. Oh, I, now I. November can't get here fast enough now. I was excited. Now I'm Group more challenge excited. to eat That's your right. way down that table right. right there. Man. We always That's try to right. beat the buffet. Just make uh -huh. sure when you're walking in with the seniors, tell them, look, it's X amount of money has been paid for each buffet, and we're counting on you to eat enough eat, to eat beat. Your you got to beat the buffet. <laughs> No, I'm starving. I can't. I'm yeah, just I am drive up Nobody there now. brought us food. And last time you brought food <laughs> oh, and I wasn't here. I, I'm slacking. I'm hurt. I'm so slacking. I am, I'm truly hurt. Next though. time. Yeah, next time. Yeah. All right. Definitely next uh, time. Amy, have you been able to bring back many of the things that you did before COVID? Yes. Yes. Um, we are pretty much pre COVID. Um, you know, and, and we brought back what we were doing prior to COVID and then mm -hmm. some. So um, we, we are excited to be at full capacity again and things are back to normal. And uh, one of the services you provide to seniors is that you will pick them up and take them to their appointments. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, that is our, through our transportation. Mm -hmm. um, and it's for any type of appointment, your, your regular medical appointment, dialysis, chemo, um, and anywhere in Berkeley County that you need to go, we can get you there and get you home. Can it be non-medical? It can be non-medical. I want to go visit we my also, daughter, my son, something like that? We also do that. Yes, that's yeah. through a, a different transportation train, chain, but yes. Right. Um, we can take you to the grocery store, get your hair done. That waiting list has errands. to be huge. Um, actually, surprisingly, not so much. Um, huh. the, the transportation, because it's a lot more flexibility with scheduling. Mm -hmm. um, we have quite a few seniors that go to Walmart. We take them to Walmart once a week. We take them every other week, whatever works best for their schedule. Um, a lot of our seniors like to go to the grocery store, especially every week, because they have to buy less. And it's less for them to carry in and less for them to put away. Good and, point. Um, so we, we take a lot of them weekly. Yeah. Do, do <coughs> excuse me, do you do any work uh, around the house, uh, offer light housekeeping or I need to, I need to have shelves lower so I can reach them. I'm in a wheelchair. We, um, we actually kicked off a program at the beginning of the year, which is a, um, a homemaker service program. And it is geared more towards the, the light housekeeping part of it. Obviously we can't do big projects. Um, sure. so we partner with other agencies, 
um, you know, with, with ramps and, and larger projects like that. But we can come in and, and help with the vacuuming, the dusting, the, the day-to-day stuff. And what we try to do is get the senior involved in doing those things. So we have a staff member in there that is responsible for doing it. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, we let the senior help, too. Nice. Very good. And Amy, how do we get tickets for the big event coming up? Um, on our website at www.berkeleyseniorservices.org or stop by the Senior Center, 217 North High Street. How do I call for a ride if I need one? Uh, call 304-263-8873. And what's for lunch today? Um, that was mac and cheese, turnip greens with vinegar, carrots, and mixed fruit. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Have a great day. You too.